Thank you very much for joining me on this Saturday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Two things I want to go over. First, a subtropical system that may develop rare for January, of course. I want to break this down in depth. This is our front. That's the second thing I want to go over that's working its way through the Caribbean right now. Not for all of us. I'm going to break it down specifically, get into the front, some cooler nights ahead. But this subtropical system is kind of spinning up over toward the mid-Atlantic and southeast of the United States. That's going to push offshore very close close to Bermuda, New England, and then up toward eastern Canada. And yes, it could become briefly a named system. Again, rare for January. So it's this spin here that I'm watching. So let me break that down first and then get into what we're seeing in the Caribbean. So here's the Bahamas, Florida, Bermuda, right there. Here we go into eastern Canada. We swing back toward the eastern seaboard of the United States. This is the front that is rolling through the Caribbean right now. And again, I'll get to that ahead, but that little spin I showed you just off toward the mid-Atlantic, rolling over the Gulf Stream, which are warmer waters, which have cooled this time of year, but it doesn't need to be uh, super tropical in nature to become a named system. It would be subtropical. It's a little bit different. So I don't want to dive into all of that. But yeah, you can get a named system up here this time of year. So just watching the spin here, look at Bermuda, look at right there. You can see the center of it. That is going to whip the winds out of the north back through New England. Very close call, say over toward Cape Cod for snow. It could either be nothing or it could be incredible amounts of snow. It just depends on exactly the track of this. This is taking the added time. I want to stop in here on Monday. Look at that donut hole right there, right in the middle. There's going to be a center of this thing. Again, not truly tropical in nature. It didn't form in the uh, tropics. But yeah, this could become the first named system of the season if it kind of gets its act together. Hope it doesn't. But either way, it's going to be a pretty powerful system. Now, Bermuda, it's going to stay just to the north of us, but it's going to whip in rain, wind, and snow up toward especially parts of Canada in watching Maine, and then eventually by Tuesday, kind of losing any of its subtropical storm characteristics. But yeah, big windmaker, coastal sections of Canada watching very carefully, watching that snow rain uh, line, and then the very strong winds battering the coast, coastal flood up here, a high likelihood all the way back through Maine, even uh, over toward the Cape Cod Bay of potential as this system moves off. Again, uh, not typical this time of year, so I'm going to watch it very carefully uh, for us and just kind of monitor that. Now, uh, again, usually I'm not talking about this this time of year, but the news names on the list, if that were to get a name briefly, the first name on the list for the hurricane season, which does not start until June 1st, the first name on the list is Arlene, but it kicks in gear at the first of the year. So we're in the new year. This is the new list of tropical storm and hurricane names. Maybe you can find your name on the list. Hopefully we don't get too far down this list once we do get into hurricane season. But if, if that thing can become a name system, Arlene, that is the first name on the list. Quite the spin that is forming off the coast of the United States, very close to Bermuda right now. I will monitor that ahead. Now let me bring it back down into the Caribbean. Here's Cuba. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Here's Haiti. Now, the Bahamas, Turks, and Caicos. This is where the front is. This is today at 4 o'clock. You see this thin line of shower. So once that front passes by, the winds turn out of the north and northeast. And that'll bring some slightly cooler days northern Caribbean, especially the northwestern Caribbean. So again, there's the front watching it here. Still that easterly and southeasterly flow over toward Martinique, uh, Guadeloupe, and Guilherme. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, still that easterly flow. Now, let me take you out in time again, watching the front right here, the green being some of the rain. So some extra rain in Honduras uh, today. Let me take you out in time and I'll stop the clock tomorrow. Then tomorrow, we're going to see a higher chance of rain in spots. So here's the front. This is tomorrow afternoon. The front sitting right about here, stretching back, kind of curving back. So as I mentioned, with that said, behind the front, those winds are going to be more out of the northwest and out of the northeast, just depending on exactly where you are. But either way, a northerly component keeping us cooler. Ahead of the front, that easterly, southeasterly flow still keeping us warmer. But of note as well, not only the temperature changes, with that front, a better chance of rain as you get toward the British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, watching over towards St. Martin and Guilla. 
Puerto Rico, higher chance of rain. Even on the edge of St. Kitts and Nevis, we may get some passing showers tomorrow. Montserrat, we could get a couple. So watching that better chance of rain, definitely through uh, Puerto Rico for tomorrow. Spotty showers elsewhere. Costa Rica, Panama, we'll see some. Always watching Colombia, not a lot over toward the ABC Islands. Looking pretty good, Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, Suriname. While there's still rain around, we know the last few days, at least some of that some of that has settled some. Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica looking very nice as we swing into our uh, Sunday forecast. But yeah, that Caribbean front we've been talking about really since just after Christmas. I was looking that there would be a bigger system kind of uh, sweeping through by mid-January. That happened. So let me get into the forecast uh, with regards to the front. I'll take you to a few different spots. So here's Belize, 76 degrees Fahrenheit today. Uh, the front's already moved by, so you see those winds north at 50 miles per hour, 24 kilometers an hour, so 24 degrees Celsius. Refreshing air has moved in to Belize in a cooler night ahead. 60s Fahrenheit tonight, 17.2 degrees Celsius. Definitely some cooler weather. Enjoy it over toward uh, Honduras, Rotan, up through Mexico, Cancun. Some cooler nights. So again, some good stuff on the way if you want a little relief from the heat. Now, as we work toward Jamaica, it's going to be a split day because the winds are going to start, start out of the south. But I showed you the front. Today's the day it sweeps by. So by tonight, the winds turn more out of the north. So today, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, mainly on the dry side. Can't rule out a stray chance of a shower. But tonight, the north winds move in over toward a uh, Montego Bay, Kingston, uh, Falmouth, uh, Treasure Beach. We're going to see those winds out of the north. Cooler tonight. Numbers, a lot of us upper 60s, about 20 degrees Celsius. Keep me posted in the comments on what it feels like uh, where you are over the next couple days. Now, Puerto Rico, the front's not here yet. So today we're looking uh, generally nice. Most of the action back to the west. 84 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius. It starts to get cooler tonight. We start to see those changes arriving for tonight. But as I showed you in that model, tomorrow in Puerto Rico, Ponce, uh, San Juan, we get a better chance of some rain with the front. So today, winds are out of the southeast keeping us warm, but then it gets a little bit cooler tonight and cooler tomorrow with that front, but the higher chance of rain in Puerto Rico. St. Lucia, uh, uh, it's going to stay warm. Rain chance not too high. We're looking pretty nice in St. Lucia. 30% chance of the shower, St. Lucia, back toward Barbados, down toward St. Vincent and the uh, Grenadines, staying on the warm side of the front. So not all of us get the front, as we well know. Wind southeast, 32 kilometers an hour. 20 miles per hour and Trinidad and Tobago, warm side of the front, 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks very nice. Now, one of the issues we have, we're still dealing with some of the dust. A lot of that hasn't mixed out yet. And especially into next week, I'm going to dive into that dust in some videos further. Passing shower possible, but watching the dust. Winds in Trinidad today, southeast 32 kilometers an hour or 20 miles per hour over by uh, Port of Spain. All right, so uh, the weekend for us in the Caribbean, that front arrives in our northern zones. I spelled that out. Cooler nights on the way for a, a good amount of us. So that's going to be nice. Increased chance of rain. Port Puerto Rico, British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands tomorrow on our Sunday. Some of us see that chance of rain picking up. Southern Caribbean, Curacao, Bonaire, Aruba, we're going to stay on the warm side. Northern Venezuela, even Guyana with that uh, chance of some rain. And watching that unusual Atlantic system, I'll keep you posted on that. Very interesting to see how that takes shape and if it does become a named system in January. I will keep you posted right here. Thank you for sharing this channel. Thank you for the comments. Tons of new subscribers the last few days. Thank you for joining this weather community and building this weather community. Have a great day ahead.